Right, now, supposing I want to get rid of, if I go back to my positions here, I want to close out this long option position that I've got here. As the sim moves forward through time, you have to tell the trader the actual expiry date of the option. Okay, because if you trade a three month option first thing, and then 20 minutes later, when many days have passed in the sim, it's not going to be a three month option anymore, is it? And when you trade a three month option, you just get a mismatch and it will just list another position for you. Okay, so this expires on the 2nd of September 2015. Call 1675. Okay, so I just want to put in here the expiry date. So if I sell, then what should happen is that this should disappear. And my profit is now realized PL here. Can you see that? Okay, I've got some unrealized PL because I've probably got a mismatch on the delta. Yeah, so we didn't sell exactly. So I've got a tiny stop position here. So that's how you execute trades. Right, these people might call you up at some point in the future when I turn them on. Okay, and all they will do is they'll say, I want to trade 2,000 options at 1675, six months. How much do you want to do? And if you want to get a good score on your client servicing element of your overall, just do the whole lot with them. But remember that it will go into your position and into your deal history. Okay, so it will start to interfere with your overall view.